Hello once again, Gundam Converge Collectors. So we got a random mix today. But they have something to do with each other apparently in this cartoon mobile suit Gundam Wing. So we'll go with this one first. It is called Wing Gundam. And it's uh, that's the chassis code. Too lazy to say it. This came out in 2017. So I think this is a re-release of a previous, you know, casting. Because yeah, it's in this thing called Selection Limited Color. And it has no number. Uh, most converges have a number in the series, so this must have been released beforehand. You can look on like Gundam's web web page and find out what the original number was. Anyway, some basic stats: these are just giant robots, and then in this little re-release wave, I guess these are the ones that came out. Yeah, because I have a, this already, but obviously maybe a slightly different color. Okay, well we know how old it is. Let's see how old the gum is from 2017. Yeah, it's getting pretty nasty. Yeah, not the worst I've seen though. And then standard stuff. We got, oh yeah. See, it still has the old foot stand. Where, uh, it blocks most of the, the view of the feet. So if I don't like that, I throw these stands away. So I'll be careful not to cut the pieces. Most of this is going to be PVC uh, plastic, so it has some flex to it. But some of the detail parts tend to be hard plastic, like yeah, I'm going to assume they're ABS, like this antennae. So they will snap, so you got to be careful about this stuff, you know. You don't want them falling off a bookshelf. So yeah, if you're totally new to collecting Converge, the earlier waves, uh, they have this. I mean, it's just silly. And the reason why it's really silly is the thing stands. <laughs> so without that thing. Let me get the good old dental pick. Well, you know what? Maybe before the dental pick, I'll at least get down to this paragraph here if you want to read what this this thing is about. Let me focus on the screen there. Okay. All right. So, going into the toy here. Yeah, you can see. I I think this is definitely a brighter than the original one. I did look at Gundam's webpage before I bought this. And this just has much brighter paintwork on it. This metallic green is carrying across here. I think this is like the engine or something. Uh, the head, I think it has translucent green eyes. Yeah, you can see there. And then there's some silver behind those eyes. So, very neat. And then some gold up here from cannons. The red, so I think there's black there. Uh, so nice details. Unfortunately, there's no chassis coat molded into this... Uh, Helmets or head. Uh, the antennae must go in here. So let's pop that in and see what it looks like now. Yeah, so this plastic, by the way, this is that rigid plastic for sure. It's definitely not PVC, so it can definitely snap. So I gotta be careful putting this thing in. The head is definitely PVC. I can feel the flex of the head, but the antennae, no. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. I'm Come on, get in there. It's like the, the peg is a little bit too big. Maybe I gotta put it in at an angle like this, just to get it past that edge. I can hear the friction. I'm gonna pause and come back. I ended up trimming off the corners so it could get into the hole easier. Uh, so. That might be a trick if you're having a hard time getting this in there. The square edge is just catching the uh, square edge of the hole. Okay. Yeah, you can see here, uh, I can flex the, the head a little bit because it's uh, PVC. There you go. All right, so underneath this neck is just plain white. Unfortunately, the torso is blue, like a medium blue. It's a pretty matte finish. The only glossiness is the metallic paint. It's got pegs for the arms. Uh, let's just go through the rest of this torso. Basic uh, feet details, uh, some jet thrusters, but no paint. Yeah. Okay. So most of it, the glory is on the front side because it's got a really shiny gold paint uh, on those vents. Let's get this thing here. So unfortunately, the head doesn't want to swivel because it's literally resting inside this. Yeah. You know, I guess you can lift it up a little bit and get a little movement, but it really just wants to rest straight. Okay, so this uh, right arm here, we have some gold coming across, and that medium blue and white. Decent enough molded details. 
So it is a round hole for a round pig. But uh, they weren't stuck together as usual. Usually they're really stuck together from the paint. But these, this one was not the case. This one has a molded in hand painted a gunmetal. And it seems to have a hole probably for a shield or something. Which is this guy. Oh, nice. Alright, so this does have the chassis chassis number in it. I think it's that way. Triple XG dash. Boy, I can't read the rest of that. Alright, well anyways, the red is separated from the white pretty nice, but that's the, this is the lamest back of a shield I've ever seen from any Converge. Uh, every other one has some more details than that. I guess it doesn't matter, it's better if it's on the outside than the inside, because, well, you know what, it does matter. You can definitely see that. So, they were pretty lazy when whoever designed this, this mold originally. Hmm, alright. So then this side we have the hand molded with the gun, it's all the same gunmetal color. The gun has nice details, you know, crevices, panel gaps, circles, yeah. So this thing will pop on here. Alright, there we go. And then it wouldn't be a Gundam wing, I guess, without some wings. So the shiny gold again, uh, red, white, and blue, a very patriotic in gold uh, robot. So we have rectangular, you know, pegs and holes. I'm just wondering if it's though. Sometimes they label these left and right, but I'm not seeing it. I'm assuming that it goes this way. Yeah, it seems to be. There, there actually is a T shape and an L shape on that side. You see, the peg has a T shape to it. I kind of wish they just left them without shape so you can have the option like I kind of just want to see what it looks like with the wings in the up position but because of that shape I can't really push it in right see so that's kind of cool right but for some reason these designers they very often take playability away when they could have had it there for free just having a round peg and hole instead of these shaped holes it seems like this is supposed to actually recess quite a bit as you can see there, but this side doesn't want to really get in there so much. And if you wiggle it, it helps. Alright, I guess I did get it in further. Alright, so that's what it looks like with the wings kind of outspread, but it would have been nice to have the option to just pose them differently. And compared to the cartoon, that's what it's supposed to look like. I think the original casting maybe just had yellow paint, not gold paint. So they're just trying to, you know, recoup the cost of their molds, which is totally understandable. Let me reset. Alright, so the tall geese is from the same cartoon. Here's the blurb of information here. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, it's based, uh, well, I guess it was developed. It's a common ancestor, and they made a Leo variation. I've seen the Leo in other lines of Gundam toys, but they don't have it in the Converge line, which is weird. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a pretty popular mobile suit. But anyways, uh, that's, you can go 15 Gs as tall geese. Alright, let me close this out now. And there's some images. So this is what a Leo looks like right here. And I think it's a cool design. It's like there's a big television screen. It looks like Kane from Robocop. But then it's got this Spartan like helmet on it. Yeah. I think I actually like it, the Leo, more than this tall geese version. Anyways, so back to normal naming structure of Converges. This is number 89 of all the Converges. And this toy came out in 2014. And there's a chassis code, it's called Tall Geese. We got the basic specs, 17 meters. Only 9 tons. That seems very light. That can't be right. That can't be right. Oh well, maybe it's futuristic space alloys. And in this wave, we had these other uh, robots here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what wave it was in. It's not labeled. So it's got to be one under 20 of the first series. So I apologize for not knowing. But you can just look up Converge 89 if you want to buy it. You don't really need, you need to know what wave it's in. Okay, so that means it's got... Honestly, that gum looks pretty good. But I'm not going to chew on that. Alright, this one looks like it has more parts. Careful not to cut into them. It's 
got the silly stand again that's going to go right into the trash. Yeah, the stand doesn't even tell you what robot it belongs to. That's the, you know, really stupid. So, uh, what is smart though is these cardboard pieces keep the sensitive things from getting bent or damaged. I think there's an antenna in this. Shark antenna or fin. All right, let's take this apart. Huh, yeah, not the paint isn't too sticky on this one. So starting with the uh, the main body here, it's a white matte finish. It's got a lot of molded details and a little yellow paint in there is nicely done. Unfortunately, none on this thruster here. The torso is like a matte finish gunmetal, I would say, going on here in the bottom of the feet. I feel like it's metallic, but it's not shiny. Okay, so maybe these are these crazy thrusters that lets it go so fast. See, again, you're taking away playability by having an L shape on this side and just a rectangle on that side. It should just be round, you know, like the arms. All right, speaking of the arms, it looks like the hands are molded in. So it's like a matte gunmetal hand and the, el and the elbow as well. So that, there you go. This one here, yeah, the hand is molded in, I think, yeah. Okay, now the head. Oh, well, what's nice here is the, the visor is really big. Unfortunately, it's really plain there behind the visor. There's no like panel details, no optic lenses or anything. It's just a flat, flat face of silver. So it's kind of weak. I mean, they do better jobs than other converges. Kind of just looks like a samurai right now. But you got these really bold yellow venting on the back of the head. And then we have the Spartan hair. And so it's red. This seems to be rigid plastic. There's no there's no bend to it at all. And then uh, there's a peg, so I guess it goes this way. Mm. Wiggle it in there. All right. I don't think that's going to fall out very easily. It's pretty tight. Interesting look if you like Spartans. Uh, this gun looks like there's two pieces to it. There's a hole on the side, and two pegs on this so that's probably for the hand I don't know I'm gonna guess for some reason I feel like it doesn't make sense for the hole to do that does it maybe it fits to the backpack let's just get this into the hand wait a second the hands are totally closed off, so, yeah, this, this, oh, wait a sec, there's a hole there, there's a peg here, hmm, alright, let's see about this, this is like a ray dome, this is the coolest piece of the whole thing, it's got the, the suit number, and then this golden phoenix, really neat, uh, so, I don't know, it just looks like a square, and then you have these, which I assume go into the back, just to keep things symmetric. An L shape and a rectangle shape. Uh, maybe these are thrusters. What? It's weird, this flat here and here, so I don't know what these are. Unless the thrust comes out the sides, maybe that's what's supposed to happen. Anyways, if this is an L shape, it's going to have to go in like this. Okay, and where's the other one? That's the rectangle shape. It's proving difficult to get in. Wiggle it. I don't get much sensation of flexibility on this. I, I feel like it's pretty rigid. I feel it, it could snap. Alright, so I think maybe this shield goes into this side. It's got an L shape. Boy, that peg is so short, it just like ripped out 
I'm pretty sure that's the way that's supposed to go, but I'm pretty sure that should be glued in place. The head can move a little left and right, so that's neat. Okay. Now this gun is still a mystery because I don't know where it's supposed to peg in. Unless it's literally supposed to just float off of this. Which seems a little crazy, but... I think maybe this one goes like this. And then, I guess maybe the gun goes like this. Let me look at the box. It's really strange. Alright, so the weapon is underneath. Oh, that explains it. There is a hole. It's underneath the thing. Okay, well, let's get that out. Let's put the gun in first. Probably easier to do this off the figure. So that thing goes in like that. And then somehow I gotta join these two. Okay. it would be advisable to glue those if you don't want them to fall apart next time you pick it up. But for now it seems to be pretty fine. Well, that was interesting. Uh, unexpected. I didn't think it would be that different. What's weird is, you know, the way a lot of these converges are, they have them leaning so far forward. It's uh, strange. It's The guy's like leaning into the wind as if there's a tornado or something. And then what makes it worse is, like, when you look at it straight on, it's hard to actually see the clear optics because the thing is basically looking downwards. So, uh, I don't know why they chose to choose to do that a lot of the time. Right? I think it would just be better if it stood up straight. This one's pretty much standing up straight, I, I would say. Uh, no, even that visor is point. It's not as bad as this. But it, it does look like he's looking down a little bit, if you look at his feet, you know. Anywho, hold on. So you might be to notice this image behind, they are fighting in the cartoon, these two robots. So here at the side, you can see, look how far forward he's leaning. This one's a little more normal. This one's got a really strange design to it. But I do like the gun, it's different. It took a while for me to figure out, but it's a different type of gun, and I really like the shield on it. So even though this is posed in a strange fashion, I definitely like this one more than that one. This just looks like every other Gundam. So, yeah, I think I like the things that actually aren't so Gundam-y, like the Zeong suits and stuff. Alright, well anyways, uh, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I apologize for the background noise. There's a party going on. And no one ever seems to do anything about noise pollution here. It just, as long as it makes money, the police don't care. <laughs> so, the police get bribed, that's why. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next Converge video. Bye.